why don't we go ahead and kick things off real quick with some of the uh, smaller, more minor updates that we've made, but ones that I wanted to share with you. Um, we have added our EVM change data to our all events call. So as some of you might know, a couple of months ago, we added AVM change data to our API responses. And what that does is it shows you the difference between the current valuation of a home and the previous month's valuation of the home, and also shows you the amount and percent change of that difference. Uh, we usually only had it on our AVM detail call, but we've now added it to our all events detail call because with that API call, you're getting back AVM data, the most recent sales transaction, as well as some other details about the property. So we thought it was only fitting to add the change data as well. So you don't have to make a separate API call to pull that back. So that's one, one quick update we've made. Uh, a few of the other things that I'm, I'm excited about is we've started to build out our sample code library. I'm pretty excited about this because it gives you the opportunity to cut down on a little of the upfront work for you and pull some of the sample code that we've already written to help you start using our API and some of our other products easier. So if you're on GitHub uh, and you go to the Onboard Informatics GitHub under the sample code repository, you can see that what we've started doing is adding some of our basic property detail calls to GitHub. So here's the PHP example. Uh, if you're looking to just make a simple property detail call from in PHP, you can go into GitHub, uh, grab this sample, and if you plug in your API key that you're using, um, this is all set up to do a property detail call for an address. Uh, you can, of course, update this URL to search by a property ID, or you could change the endpoint to search different data in the API. Um, so it's something that's available that I wanted to make sure you were all aware of. Uh, we've also added some sample code for our My AVM product and our Nurture Bar product. Uh, we won't go into those right now, but if you know what those are and are interested in some of the sample code that's available to give those products a try, you can get into GitHub and take a look at that. Um, alrighty, um, so just a little bit about the sample code there. Feeding off of that sample code, one of the really cool things that we're gonna start doing is offering some real life UI sample code. So what you're looking at right now is a user interface that we've built out. It's not functional today. It should be within the next week or so. Uh, but what we've done is built out a page that allows you to show all the school information you could want in an area based on the search of a property. So if you went and typed in a property up in this bar, the institutions right now with some dummy text in them will show up with the schools that are within the applicable attendance zone. Uh, we'll also pull back private schools within the 10 mile radius and you can click on the arrows to scroll through those schools. Um, once you select a school on the top bar, it's going to show you some of the details about that school here in the bottom left and then highlight some information about that school on the map. Now the blue area that you can see would be the attendance zone for that school. So really our, our goal here is to give a, a clean and easy interface um, and we'll provide all of the sample code to build this with our APIs through GitHub. So you'll get the HTML code, the JavaScript code, and the PHP code needed to build this out with our APIs. And the way that you would go about downloading that is once you've grabbed the sample code, as long as you have a valid API key, you could get this set up on your website or your product and start using it right away. Uh, it's really a great way to skip some of the design, skip some of the overhead, and get started with a, using our data right away. Um, so this should be ready 
in like a setup around the next week and it'll be available in our our github as well just so you all know this school page is the first of four samples that we'll be rolling out uh, the other three are for sales trends community information and points of interest so they'll all be a pretty similar look and feel um, things where you could grab the sample code change around colors change around data fields if you want and really make them your own or use them as is uh, the next thing we're going to talk a little bit about is a new addition to our website um, for those of you who are interested in bulk data or bulk data sample files um, any match and append processes that you might be interested in and when I say that one of the common examples would be to send on board a list of addresses and maybe you want to build out the most recent sale date and most recent sale amount attached to all of those addresses to do some kind of a back-end analysis on that information um, what this page is built to do is showcase all of the different bulk data forms we have and give you the opportunity to look at the sample downloads, the data dictionary, and the user guides that we built out for each one of these different data types. Um, even if you're using the API, uh, sometimes that the data dictionary and the sample file can be a good way to make sure that you're grabbing all of the data that you have access to if you're using the API today. So something I would encourage you to go and play around with a little bit as you get started using the API or using bulk data. I really appreciate you hopping on. Please continue to join the check-ins. We've got some really exciting stuff coming up in 2018, and we'll be doing this uh, just as regularly. So you can check in for 10 minutes. I'll be going through all of the new data fields and different API calls that we're gonna be adding in 2018. And we'll get started there, but thank you all very much for joining. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or reach out through the developer portal. Thank you all and have a good day.